Paul writes, Salute Andronicus and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners, who are of note among the apostles, who also were in Christ before me. And the question is, if Paul is the first member of the body of Christ, how can these two people be in Christ before him? Now, it is a good question because knowing the answer to this really gives you some more information about some aspects of your justification, which you're going to see as I answer this. But this is a verse that's often used by people when they object to the dispensational change. Uh, because that, that's what they'll say. Well, if Paul was the first member of the new creature of the church, the body of Christ, then why did he say these folks were in Christ ahead of him? So, you know what, you must not be right about, you know, Paul and the new dispensation and all of that. Well, the answer is this, and, and look, this answer is short, but it is succinct, and you don't have notes on it, so... I'm just going to talk you through this, but, and if you want them, I guess we could email them out, and so let Tracy know. She didn't do anything anyway. Just let her know that you need her to do something, and she'll, she'll do it. So, this, uh, the answer is in recognizing a difference. So, let me, let me do it right here. The difference in the phrase, in Christ, and... Sometimes people confuse that with trying to get that in without it being cut off. The body of Christ. We're actually talking two separate things there. Yes, you are a part of the body of Christ. Yes, you are in Christ. So what I need to do is I need to kind of straighten this out a little bit because... The body of Christ, this one, this one right here, that is dispensationally distinct. Everybody with me there? In other words, that has a dispensational uh, 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 meaning attached to, to the phrase. Now, you can, but when it comes to being in Christ, listen carefully, that is not about the dispensation of which you are a part. When you are in Christ, that is simply a statement about your new identity. And so, you can be in Christ as part of the believing remnant of Israel. And you can be in Christ as part of the body of Christ. So if you're just, and what, so what did Paul use in Romans 16, 7? He said, these two were in Christ before me. So the real simple answer here is, I'm going to enlarge on this. The real simple answer is, they were all, before Paul ever got saved, they, were all, they had already by faith believed and been justified unto eternal life. And because of that, they were in Christ. That's right. They were in Christ as part of the little flock. So look, you have to understand that in Christ is a designator of identity. It is not a designator of dispensation. Everybody understand that? When you talk about the body of Christ, that is a dispensational distinctive. Because not everybody in the history of the world is part of the body of Christ. But everyone who is saved, no matter when they got saved, they are in Christ. Everybody get that? 